I recently made a video about the Electoral Commission raising the barrier to entry into politics by doubling the nomination deposit for candidates. That was part of a suite of changes which also includes a stringent new checklist for candidates to make sure they're eligible under the Australian Constitution. And that includes section 44A, which requires candidates to be citizens of Australia only, so no dual citizens. The new paperwork's pretty intrusive. I'm answering questions about my grandparents and my current and former spouses and similar partners. And it's awful, but my feelings are not the reason this paperwork is a bad idea. It's a bad idea because it gives us a false sense of security and it's not actually addressing any problems. Section 44A is supposed to ensure that our parliamentarians are solely Australian citizens and therefore don't have any loyalty to another country. Massive non sequitur, right? Uh, citizenship isn't a great indicator of where someone's loyalties lie. Some people hold on to citizenship for practical purposes and you can have dual citizenship without knowing it, as we found out last year. About a dozen parliamentarians resigned over it and they were immediately re-endorsed by their parties as soon as they renounced their second citizenship because our major parties know that it doesn't actually affect their ability to do their jobs. And if a candidate does want to act in the interests of another country, renouncing citizenship of that country isn't going to change their intentions. The sort of scrutiny that we're after would better be served by a, um, a federal anti-corruption watchdog. So we need an ICAC for this and other reasons. Section 44A is outdated. Our constitution was written 50 years before Australian citizenship existed. And it also, Section 44 allows for another country to destabilise our parliament by conferring their citizenship on our MPs, as unlikely as that scenario may be. It's um, one of many parts of our constitution that needs reform. So this new focus on section 44A seems to me like another convenient way to exclude immigrants and their spouses and other similar partners from the political process. Over the next couple of months, we might be told that uh, this checklist is of the utmost importance. So if that happens, just stay sceptical. Authorised by S. Manicum for the Science Party and more.